The tradition of tar and feathering predates waving the American flag itself. And it is still around in some form or fashion. The purpose of tar and feathering someone, which often was accompanied with forcing someone to drink water or alcohol, was an act of public humiliation that was done by political groups for social, political, cultural, and even spiritual reasons. In the Bible, it says not to drink and that anyone who is hung from a tree is cursed. And we'll get to that in a minute. You see, there are certain connections between gang stalking and covertly drugging somebody. Gang stalking almost certainly includes covertly drugging somebody. But you see what is going on is similar to tar, feathering, and drugging someone because your appearance suffers when you're drugged. Your speech patterns suffer. You suffer in a certain way that humiliates you publicly every time you go in public. And people say, there's that guy who was acting weird. Just like there's that guy who was tar, tarred and feathered. Now remember that opium, cocaine, and other drugs of this nature were used by psychiatrists to treat illnesses. And people self-medicate with alcohol every day all across America by the millions. So there's a thin line between forcing somebody to drink alcohol publicly and basically forcing them to consume drugs by drugging their food and their water covertly. And these are done, these things are done by political groups who are very aware of the social implications of religion and the social aspects, the cultural aspects of religion. So tar and feathering moved on to hanging and they hanged black people who they called uppity. The vast majority of people who were tarred and feathered were white, while black people were hung for the same reason. The same people who cried about the need for freedom of speech and fair representation did not give political dissidents their freedom of speech nor did they give them fair representation and allow them to express themselves simply because they did not agree. In this nation of hypocrisy and racism that refuses to give up its racist policies and still maintains tar and feathering. You see, gang stalking or government harassment is the evolution of tarring and feathering. So Galatians 3.13 and Deuteronomy 21.23. Now keep in mind that the Mormons, Brigham Young, Joseph Smith and others have made the claim that black people are cursed at least this has been repeated by countless members of their faiths, if you want to call it that. How many black people were hung by a tree? Publicly so. And for what purpose, if not to make people realize that if you do something like that, you will be killed? What was the purpose of tar and feathering? So the people knew that if you did that, you would be ostracized. And how many people were actually charged for tarring and feathering someone and forcing them to drink? When you do the research and you put one and one together, 
It is impossible, impossible for one to think that Americans magically stopped doing this to people. You see it with the memes. You see it with the edited pictures. Lil Wayne in a bra, Donald Trump is a Nazi, Obama as a fascist. You see it to this day. And when somebody is not in a position of power, that increases the ability of the brainless mob to single them out. Not because the mob is correct. I don't think they've ever been correct about anything when they tarred and feathered or hung someone. At least there is no proof that they were, no definitive proof. It's because they are wrong that they would do it in the first place, thinking that they know what's best. And it is absolutely abhorrent. It is odious, noxious, and disgusting that they cannot beat me in a debate even when offered money. But they are attempting to tar and feather me, at least the modern version, so to speak, figuratively speaking, tar and feather me and force me to drink. When the Bible says be sober, when the Bible says you are cursed, if you are hung and left to hang. Cursed is he who is hung from a pole or a tree. Be sober. These people are satanic by their works, whether or not they consider themselves satanists.